Let's talk about the seven triggers of a headache. Now, what's the difference between a headache and a migraine headache? A migraine headache is more severe. It often has other associated symptoms like nausea, blurred vision, seeing spots, sensitive to bright lights or sounds, vomiting, or having some type of aura about 30 minutes before the headache, some type of sensation giving you a clue that there is a migraine coming on. But a general headache is a more mild version of a migraine. So number one, stress can trigger your headache. And that can be from any type of stress, but it is the number one cause of headaches. And it tightens up the muscles in the back part of your neck. Number two, your diet. You could have a food allergy. And believe it or not, that's very, very common, especially for headaches that are delayed. Because let's say, for example, the food allergy reaction is occurring lower in your gastrointestinal tract, which takes a few hours to get there. And as soon as it hits it, it creates a reaction. And there are all sorts of nerves in your gut that send signals right up to the brain through the vagus nerve. So it could be delayed. Now, the typical allergies would be like peanut allergies, gluten allergies, the protein in milk called casein, and there's thousands of other ones. Too much caffeine can trigger a headache, uh, artificial sweeteners, alcohol in the form of something called a hangover. I don't know if you've ever experienced that before. Maybe you might know of a friend or a family member. Now, red wine and white wine has sulfates, which can then trigger a headache. Chocolate has certain compounds that can trigger a headache. MSG, usually in the form of modified food starch, can trigger a headache. I know for myself, if I notice a headache, let's say I'm going to bed and I'm like, why do I have a headache or I'm waking up with a headache? I will reflect back on what I ate. And it could be like I went out to a restaurant and they had some hidden chemicals or MSG and I will get a headache. Cured meats have nitrates, which can trigger headaches. Aged cheeses, pickled foods, fermented foods have a certain protein that occurs with aging. It's called tyramine, and that can trigger a headache. It's in blue cheese, it's in feta cheese, it's in Parmesan cheese. All right, number three, your environment. Let's say you have a seasonal allergy which affects the sinuses, that can give you a headache. Or even a change in weather can give you a headache because the body is having a hard time adapting and some people even get headaches right before it rains because the barometric pressure changes. Number four, hormones. That time of the month, all of a sudden you get a headache, too much estrogen. For this, you wanna take something called DIM or a concentrated cruciferous type product to help lower estrogen. You can also take some sea kelp as well. A lot of the solutions for the things that I talk about, I'll put links down below for more information. Uh, number five, lack of sleep. That will definitely create a, a headache. Uh, usually tightness in the spine, in your upper back. You'll feel like a throbbing sensation if you don't get enough sleep. Number six, and this is really common, a problem with your gallbladder or the liver or the ducts that drain from the liver to the gallbladder. If those ducts become blocked with some sludge because you don't have enough bile salts, that pressure will back up and that will usually cause headaches on the right side of your head. If the headaches are on the left side, it could be sludge blocking some of the ducts in the pancreatic area, which is related. I'll put two videos down below for more information on what to do about that, but this is very, very common. Now, if you have a gut issue, let's say you have some inflammation in the last part of your small intestine, um, from years of antibiotics or whatever, and you eat a certain food, what can happen, especially if you have a leaky gut, is that by the time that food hits that point in your digestive tract, that can trigger a spasm in your gut, which can then make you feel kind of nauseous and even give you a headache. That relates to what I talked about here. And so this is why if someone gets a headache, it's very important to ask them, what did you eat? Not necessarily just before you got the headache, but maybe several hours before. And you can track it down. There's something that you're eating that's irritating the gut. All right. And number seven, certain medications can give you headaches. Now, there's something called rebound headaches. Uh, normally, when people take aspirin, they get rid of a headache. But sometimes they can actually trigger a headache after it goes away, especially when we're dealing with aspirin, 
acetaminophen, sleeping pills, ibuprofen. And so if you're taking some of these for a headache, why not find out the root cause of the headache, get that corrected, so the need for that becomes a lot less. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.